the star cycle, and to provide the ideal path to the existing potential for the path to the reality. Maybe you have a program. Thanks to you. Thanks for that. You, you find out that when you were able to, to join us, uh, maybe you're relatively new in the sales and you're stuck with you on the faculty. Uh, tell us a little bit about your background uh, and how you ended up here with us. I first arrived in LaSalle almost uh, 35 years ago, uh, 32 years ago, actually, as a student. Yeah, I graduated from LaSalle in 1986 with an accounting degree. I also worked in public accounting. I spent about eight years in public accounting full time. Then I, and uh, in between that time, I started teaching part time, got into teaching full time at Robert Tomlinson College in Delaware, then taught at Philadelphia University, as well as the College of New Jersey. On the right road from the back to the left road from uh, Sound University. So uh, last year, a couple of years ago, the position was opened up and I was lucky enough to, to get the job. Uh, I was glad that you were able to award it from there from the lot of the most competitive uh, team. You, you, you know, just talk to the 20 different places. Um, is, is there a difference in going to public or state sale or New Jersey or Pennsylvania? Is there a difference in teaching taxes or accounting? States or is it a different kind of language? Uh, we went to kind of language. I thought that uh, all along the way the students might be slightly different at each institution. Uh, but overall, the accounting is, is accounting. And I've taught similar uh, at different points in different schools. I've taught at Philadelphia University, I've taught on graduate level tax uh, courses uh, at the College of New Jersey, I've taught on undergrad accounting and then strictly undergraduate school. So I'm getting back to a little bit of, of both. So I'm teaching uh, some grad and MBA courses uh, for some very good uh, folks that are pursuing their MBA in accounting, as well as our one-year MBA program. We have uh, a few tax courses which I'm able to teach, which are somewhat similar to some of the tax courses I taught at the College of New Jersey and Philadelphia University. Uh, so there's kind of a mix. Uh, it kind of students are the same, I think. Uh, Many places, you know, you have the, those that are stronger, those that maybe need a little more help. Uh, all along the way, I think I've had a lot of common people. Tell us, tell us about a little bit about your own college school. Um, you know, you said you've been teaching both undergraduate and, and graduate you know, students. Uh, they have different needs, they get different skills. Uh, how do you adjust? Uh, because it, in one level, when you teach about undergraduates, that's Graduates can have a little bit different needs, and then you have, you know, you know I, I think I'm, I'm maybe different than, than most people uh, in terms of teaching because I, I really love teaching anything. And, uh, you know, at different levels, for instance, this semester I'm teaching two sections of freshman uh, financial accounting. And in addition to that, I'm teaching a lot of fifth year, uh, I call it fifth year submissibility in the, in the MBA program, which I have been interested in working in for three hours. Uh, many professors, uh, Jump and level uh, their specialty, say it's tax or say it's marketing, cost, whatever it might be. I, I do enjoy that, but I really do like working with the freshmen. And uh, I really, uh, uh, I might be a frustrated high school teacher. I, I kind of, you know, when I started out uh, going to college, I wanted to teach, uh, I wanted to teach the high school level and be a high school wrestling coach. Uh, kind of my dad kind of pushed me away from it uh, with, with the time positions and teaching. I wanted to want to hold on. I did like accounting. I was a great high school uh, accounting teacher at Marsh Bishop Logan, and then he kind of got me into accounting and then went from there. But uh, as I got to LaSalle, I, you know, I was too far in. Once again, I realized I wanted to teach accounting again. Um, but I, it, you know, it was too, too late. So I kind of went through and, and worked in accounting and got back into teaching and now I love it. Uh, I, I do like the freshmen. I like that they're coming in there and they, they don't know. College is all about. Uh, I like being able to cut it up and not just, you know, financial accounting piece for the first semester, but try to be an advisor or a mentor to them as they move through, uh, you know, through their degree. For many of the seniors, I really enjoy that part too. You know, they're going through, they're looking for jobs, they don't really have jobs, but there's some that don't. And uh, I'm fortunate enough that uh, I have a small accounting practice, and uh, in my previous job at the firm, actually, I worked in a lot of just two 
practice of checking cards up and down and up and down and up and down. And I'm able to kind of distinguish when a card there and some card there. So I like the difference when you yeah, yeah, yeah. had some success last year with a few students who had good jobs. And in fact, I had a really, I think, such an important part of what we were doing was uh, here at LaSalle with uh, a group of other students that uh, who has a job was working a great job and other students. So um, really, I feel like that's a big part of my job is, is to have a team. We've also got to make sure that we have our own team. We have others who are on the team. I know when you are on the IRR team, it's pretty good that uh, you have a good reputation. And we, we have some really nice staff that work with us. It's a, uh, a great group of young guys that are in the workplace. And person who is, is a real young guy, we have Sarge Stephen now. And there, there's many of them. It's just like to uh, really want to uh, reach back and uh, help the school and help them so much. Uh, so they really use the easy sell on the top notch and top people for each uh, paper and say, hey, I think you're going to be passionate about this. And this junior was hiring, it's been really difficult for them. I mean, we get uh, either a professor or someone who's incredible to come work with or someone and say, hey, this, this kid's going to be a layup and you know, we need to do it. You know, business education is done really tough to emphasize the practicality of it. Um, you were in the industry and now come back into the classroom. How does your experience help shape what you do in the classroom and, and how you train your students for, for careers in tech? I think that's some of the things I, I try to, I know I, I coach lots of students and I really do try to make them think about what they're studying. I'm still having small tax and accounting practice. And uh, there's a lot of things that happen in every day. I'll get a phone call or I'll find my tax return or some financial statements that I always look at my notes whenever I'm preparing for class and trying to think about stories that I've learned from the past that maybe bring this up and go, well, did you know this happens? And now it's now very exciting. When students love to hear the story of uh, my clients, it's a, you know, it's a landscape contract or a planning project or even a game. And some of the, the, the concepts in accounting that relate to that are clients that have been audited by the IRS and some of the trouble they may have gotten in. Or, you know, they, they like to hear that stuff. But textbook itself is just not, you know, they're not a little bit dry. Uh, it's, it's not for me. Um, there's a, I guess the Pac-12 always came in sideways as we were dealing with it. I mean, it, to what extent are changes in uh, health care affecting the tax code? We, just this year, uh, the tax law has changed a little bit due to the uh, kind of general change in that being there's an additional uh, tax on Medicare once an individual takes uh, an individual single individual makes two hundred thousand dollars they'll have an additional point nine percent that tells them their paycheck. All right, so uh, that's an additional tax that's taken care of. And actually the twenty two highway bill also has a mm-hmm. it's actually not subject to the the two hundred and fifty thousand dollars that they're paying. Uh, there's also the investment income tax, uh, the investment income tax of three point eight percent, which is on dividends capital gains, and uh, some other types of investment capital that taxpayer didn't have to deduct but they did have to deduct and it changes and I guess it's keeping you busy and yeah. uh, that cuts how you practice and it, it does it, it makes it challenging and I, I know that uh, teaching tax is very challenging you know many courses when you teach intro accounting or intro introductory accounting hasn't changed since the you know the time it's on the book the time it's on the web uh, when you teach tax the textbook changes textbook is filled with all the threshold and qualifications, and, and even though many, many, many deductions and credits don't change, where they, you know, where they even phase out, who knows, you know, and, you know, they always do an exemption to account, so you, you have to be on top of your game, you know, to, to you know, you're constantly learning and everything. How have you influenced the university when it was being constructed over the years, you know, your career and, I mean, academically inspired by your students? And you know, on a regular basis, does it influence it? Is it yes and does? I think uh, I'm somewhat fortunate that my tax game and my special specialty is that the law is always changing. Mm-hmm. And the law is very complex, and there's, uh, you know, being a practitioner and being around it, you know, I, I would guess to most practitioners, we work the job out of the totality of a lot of the tax laws and to real situations. So uh, a lot of my research has to do with. Journal of taxation, um, 
job of uh, something that comes back to shape us. It goes like this. Uh, the other area of life which I really enjoy, I love teaching. So, uh, education, uh, I came out of the seminar of the Institute of Health Education in Georgia, so that's my area of life that I enjoy working on. So, when it's a case that allows me to do that, which is the case of groups, you know, uh, particular tax groups, uh, where, you know, you can direct the case in class uh, to show that the students have learned to do it. You know. uh, and, and there's another one that I think is not really a good thing to do. There's a research on best teaching techniques and publishing ideas that are used by groups. So there's criteria by the group that are very important. And uh, like for example, I don't actually have This is for us to take the information that's on the books. But right now, we've got the class teachers who speak to them about some personal kinds of exercises to bring them to the work. And so it's not your exercises. And through that, we're bringing those exercises to the classroom to uh, material. So in order to bring the students to hey, this, this can be so fun if you can learn it in your own way. It's not a teacher only kind of way, but it's uh, stuff that actually works. Practical elements of the game. So there's a flag club that they use, a marketing material that they use for students to work on their skills. And students love it. They come to see how this financial accounting thing is working. So they check with the health club about it. They do the same thing. You know, they show how businesses use credit to leverage their, their existing employment base. And they show how using a credit card can be useful for deals that you did with them. They talk about how there's smart ways to use it that are not so smart. Very happy to say that when she's come here as a nursing major, she's got a great mix in, and she loves the sound of her voice. Uh, it's great. It's like, it's like first time comes to the game, it's like, great. It's uh, great to be here. Thank you, Jeff. So I guess if we can get the uh, assistant professor to stop me any time, uh, when we come back, I'll be joined by John Heiner, who is a professor here at the Philosophy of Health. Exactly in last year. It was part of the first referendum on sex drugs. The doctor suggested high school drugs. Uh -huh. That's what helped so much. It came from the bottom of the tree. They helped me take care of him. He made his last month comfortable. Came to me. He was able to find a job.
say that I'm just like that. I don't know. It's just like that. It's the professor that keeps talking about philosophy. Now, how many times have you heard that from the Um, John, you do you now? Is it in your sixth year? Yes. Okay, yeah, it's repeated about ten years now. It's only the first. Yes. Um, give us a little bit about your background.
Ich 